What's up, Bug Doug Houdini in the garage. Today we are talking low compression. I'm in the garage with the executive producer. And this here Simplicity Snowblower, it's got a Briggs 12 horsepower Intech. That's the new style with the overhead valves. And it's got crazy low compression. I wasn't going to make a video on this one because I thought it was going to be something simple. What I want to do today is figure out why. Is it a compression release issue or something a bit more? But first, the background, I picked her up for a song. Previous owner said she lost spark and I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, I brought it home and, you know, figured I'd confirm previous owner's observations and I couldn't. It, it immediately had spark, so that wasn't the problem. Uh, so I tried to start it on, you know, a little bit of the good stuff down the old throat hole and nothing. Uh, so I gave her a good spritzes of old reliable and, and nothing. Um, uh, so, uh, decided to pull out the old compression tester here, and when you, when you bump the AC starter... Now you see that little uptick at the end? Almost made me think like the compression release was stuck open and that's it closing. Um, I'm not really sure though. You can get it up to 60 when you crank it over by hand, but still not enough to get anything going. So I'm gonna tear open the top end. Let's see what the valves are looking like, if they're moving, if they're stuck, if they're bent, if they're dropped. So I figure if I gotta tear it all apart, might as well bring y'all with me. I'm gonna get into the valve train and then we'll take a look. Good gravy, friends. I'm glad I didn't waste too much time on the intro for this friggin' video. Pulled the valve cover off and that's what we're staring at. No big deal. Well, yeah, you know what? Yes, big deal. But what all that happened was the uh, the top end of the uh, valve rocker assembly came apart. So the um, Christmas push rod is no longer actually acting on the rocker arm, this threaded bit. So what I'm gonna do is find a diagram online to make sure I got all my parts, see if I can't figure out what went wrong here. It looks to me like this rocker arm's threaded and it, this piece down here. Uh, so it looks like that threads into the rocker. Let's take it over to the bench. Yeah, it looks like it's threading together just fine. Threads don't appear to be damaged. It literally just worked its way out. I can't figure out why that would be. Must have been loose from the factory. Got to figure, right? I don't know. Help me understand, right boys? Yeah, that's moving just fine. Let's go check out the uh, push rod. Plenty of Earl down there, that's for sure. And uh, both ends of the rod look fine. Let's see. So we're gonna, it doesn't look bent, right? I don't think it looks bent. Slide her back down in there. Okay. All right, friends, with everything confirmed as not screwed up, Let's uh, just cram this guy back together some, right? Make sure we get our push rod in there, right? And then, oh, yep, make sure it clicks at the bottom. Tighten this down some. Oh, we want that nice and tight. And then let's go ahead and find top dead center on the compression stroke. How should we go about doing that? Quarter inch extension method. Put that guy down your old uh, spark plug hole there. And then you can see as the piston's coming up and down from all the way over here. All right, down and up. That seems like it's good enough for what we're trying to accomplish. Alrighty, friends, since we're here, let's start with the exhaust. It's supposed to be 5 thou, and it's pretty close. It's a little, little over. I think we'll definitely adjust some, see if we can't get a little more drag out of it. That feels good. It's barely dragging it. I like that. The intake is 3 thou. Surprisingly close from jump. Let's see if we can't lodge this in there. Make it easier on ourselves. So it just grabs and back off a little. 
and then tighten. How'd we do? Nope, I think it loosened up. I'll bet that would run anyway. Let's see. Let's see if we can tighten her an eighth of a turn. like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Feels good. You feel like just this little bit of resistance. Now without further ado, let's make sure we've cranked all these down without tightening them more. Do a last check. Three over here. Five over there. Still feels real good. Let's pull that guy out. Valve cover on. Alrighty, friends. not running and I would have expected it to be running that I must have broke it when I was tightening it that is a first for me I have never broken a uh, spark plug while tightening it but I mean apparently it happens good gravy can't win with this machine it's cursed I wonder if it was on the side of the road it wasn't totally on the side of the road we, we got some nobody threw this one out this was there's some dollars tied up in this one but nothing crazy well, I can't get the rest of that insulator, and I don't really care. Uh, RC12YC. see if we get lucky. Alrighty, luck had nothing to do with it. I got about four of these motors sitting over there for parts. This is a Q12YC, but we're going to give her the old spit shine treatment. Make sure she sparks. Which it does not. Hi, stink bug. What are you doing? There we go. I have no idea if y'all can see that, but I can. I had it. I had it off. You have to turn it on if you want it to spark. Who knew? We're figuring it out together, though. There's a uh, ignition ground at the bottom of the throttle. That's if you see a throttle in the bottom of it's off. It just grounds out your ignition at the at the end of that throw and that's where i had her sitting i think i think we're gonna get her this time we got a spark plug that's not broken we've got valves that are gonna open assuming we have a piston that you know is one piece and not multiple little pistons banging around in there i'm not doing a compression test first let's just do it friends a spark plug that sparks and isn't broken in half and some valves that are open because the rocker arm is you know attached to the rest of the motor 
That's all it took. So if you got one of these Briggs Intex that gets giving you trouble, highly recommend you pull her apart. This is not the first one I've seen that had some dumb little problem wrong with it. And it went out to the side of the road for it. And ultimately, would I spend an hour? Would have been less if I wasn't recording for y'all people. So leave me that comment down in the squawk boxes. What kind of issues have you had with these Briggs Intex? This is the 12.0, there's the 12.5, the 14.5, the 16, the 20. They put them in everything from blowers to tractors and, and everything in between. Um, so let me know what else you guys are seeing. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Maybe go check out our website, monkeywiththetoolbox.com. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello. I, when I was working, I found some stuff and it's gold. But this is more shinier, and I want to share it with people, and I want to share it with you in the video. Those are the treasures you found in the garage while I was working? Yeah. Anything good? Yeah. Put yourself through college with some of that? <laughs> no. Oh, that's a grade 8 bolt. Got a nice split washer there. Here's a battery for a watch or something. Bet you that's still got some juice in her. Real good, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. You got to start collecting sometime. Might as well be now, right? Yeah.